शिवोहम शिवा नमस्ते गिरीश अशोक महेश्वरी एंड सुमन वेलकम टू सैम अजित एक हितकारी जी शिवोहम समिता वीना लवीना एंड बिशम शिवोहम एंड वेलकम टू द कॉल संजय दास मुतकुल आनंद मोना मिस्टर बुद्रानी वेलकम टू द कॉल and the rest of you i can't see today there was a unusual request for me to speak on world environment day and i wondered why i should speak actually i refused because i believe one call a week is enough on fridays but we would have question answers on all seven days no matter what i wish that if people have a question we should be able to answer their question that is my goal people should not have unanswered question but today there was a special request and i found a connection between what i speak and the world environment day 5th of june is supposed to be the world environment day and it's observed it's i would say celebrated and a lot of things people talk about how many, i don't know how much you are familiar with it but 5th of june people talk about global warming Uh, conservation of species of plants the atmosphere wellness many things and there's nothing wrong there is absolutely nothing wrong in talking of uh you know less pollution but the point is that today i found it interesting only because there is a connection between environment and what i speak like i said i am not a person to grab at an opportunity to speak that's not the what we want we want to speak on subjects that are relevant and people think environment is very important because in the world there's so much exploitation reckless exploitation forests atmosphere this pollution in the air finally who suffers we suffer but the point is is that what is the focus of air no the focus of air is not that but then there is a deep connection and today we will get this deep connection of the world environment day am i going to be talking to you today on how to grow trees how to reduce pollution how to clean rivers no we will spend time in this talk between 7:30 and 8 but we will come back to the ask air question answer session at 8 o'clock that is what i am here for but we will touch the importance of the environment in the next 20 25 minutes and sharp 8 o'clock we will move into the ask air friends what is the connection what is the connection between what we speak the environment and enlightenment in fact the point is this to me today should be world enlightenment day but how many people are concerned about world enlightenment very few people are bothered about world environment day we talk so much about the environment but very few people talk of enlightenment let us try to get into the depth of these two what is the environment made of we look around look around your environment what do you see you see the sky you see clouds you see in bangalore now it's raining every day this rain becomes rivers and streams it flows on the earth the sun shines sometimes if it's cold when i speak to you all from kashmir or switzerland it's snowing and then there are beautiful trees some people add to the environment they add plants animals microorganisms and they make the environment into an entire ecosystem but what is this environment what is the ecosystem have you ever stopped to try to understand what is it today we are going to have a very different discussion we are not going to have just a discussion on on what is the percentage of carbon emission no we are not i mean i am not saying it's not important but there are enough and more people who are talking about carbon emission and they are talking about pollution and everything else and what is the uh, the greenhouse effect so many things right what is the effect of the sunlight 
that falls on us and how it's affecting our health and wellness. Fine, it's important. I'm not undermining. But today, my subject to you on spirituality is to understand the environment in a spiritual perspective. Unfortunately, I see many people trying to portray themselves as spiritual, but they don't talk spirituality. They talk everything else in the world but spirituality. Spirituality is about the spirit, the power, the energy. That's why it's called spirituality. But we don't understand what is the spiritual. Look around. Look around the sun, the moon, the stars. Look around. What do you see? So today, because I have been given free time, let me enjoy sharing some of the things that are my favorite. So when I look at the sun and the moon, what comes to me in the environment is this. I say, ye chanda, ye tare, panchi paudhe sare, ye chanchal hawa. This is the environment to me. What is the environment? Ye chanda, ye tare, panchi paudhe sare, ye chanchal hawa. Darshan wo hai dete, in sab me prakat wo. This is what I relate to the environment. Who has created the sun, the moon, the stars? Who has created the wonderful, the wind that blows, the water that flows, the sun that glows? This is to me the environment day, which should become enlightenment day. This is the point that I would like to touch. But I know that everybody will not get to this frequency. But the group that we have, and because I was requested to talk today, let me give you the connection between the environment and enlightenment. Ye suraj jo ugta, prabhu hai padhare, prabhu ki hai roshni, andhe hum sab saare, pal pal saath hamare, darshan wo hai dete, is samsaar mein dube ehsaas na hota. We are ignorant. We are looking at the environment, but we don't realize the environment is energy. It is divine energy. This is what, to me, is the World Environment Day. The World Environment Day, we must look at the environment and realize that it is made up of tiny particles. Every mountain, every ocean, every earth is made up of tiny particles. The particle is nothing but energy. And this is not spiritual talk. Science has formatted what is known as the wave-particle duality. When they were doing an experiment, the scientists, they took a piece of matter. They took the smallest atom, neutron, electron, proton. They went to the smallest part, which was called a quark. And when they were studying it, they were, they were putting the quark under a microscope and they were studying it. And they were studying it. Suddenly, it disappeared. And they said, where did it go? And they connected it to the law of thermodynamics, which says that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can be transformed from one form to another. So what happened to that matter, that particle of matter? It became an energy wave. And as they were trying to draft this principle, that particle of matter came back and appeared as a grain. Now this became the wave particle duality. One day I was sitting in Bombay and having breakfast in, a, in my hotel. A scientist came and asked me, can I share the table? The room of the hotel was packed. I was alone and I had one extra chair. I said, please sit. So I said, you can sit in front of me. Then he said, but you know, I don't see you as you because I see you, you are 30 trillion cells that form the body. I just see energy. He was a spiritual scientist, it's a real story. It happened at the Taj, uh, at the Land's End Hotel. And he told me that I see through you because you are 30 trillion particles of energy which appear as you. 
And he, I learned something very profound that day when he told me that it appears. I have not learned about this. I learned from this scientist at the Taj Lands End in Bombay. I learned that we human beings, we think that we are the nose, the ears, the eyes, but actually every particle of a human being is energy. What we don't realize is that the energy is divine energy. Scientists have gone up to this point that they realize this is all energy. Fantastic. Great. But scientists don't understand what is this energy. If you look at many of the scientists in the world, you know, they talk about the, uh, the black, dark energy, gray energy, the cosmic energy, and they talk of I mean, so many types of energy in the universe. And they say that the earth is just a practical 0. 0.000 some percentage of this cosmos, of this existence, and we know nothing about it. But the scientists don't go one step further to find out what is this energy. There is no doubt that we are all energy. That there's no doubt. Spirituality says, science says, but we are stuck there. What is this energy? You know, if you look at it in a spiritual angle, on the, on, we are talking about World Environment Day, all this environment, we think it is created by God. It is not created by God. The mountain is not created by God. The ocean is not created by God. The mountain is God. Sometimes you wonder why in the ancient days they used to pray to the mountain. Ramana Maharishi used to pray to the Mount Arunachala. I know how many of you have been to the place in uh, Tiruvannamalai. In Tiruvannamalai, there's a mountain and he used to pray to that mountain. And it was called, it's still called Arunachala. What does this mean? Sometimes we laugh, how can you pray to a mountain? But what is that mountain? That mountain is a manifestation of God. It is not the creation of God. Have you ever looked at the clouds? I get fascinated when I'm in a plane and I, I come through clouds, I get fascinated. Have you ever looked at the beautiful sunrise in the morning at 5.30 before the sunrise? The color of the sky turns to pink and orange, and blue and purple and green. And then sunset. What is all this magic? We don't realize that this entire cosmos, this entire environment, as we call it, is energy. It is divine energy. You go to temple, you go to church to find God. God is in the skies. God is in the leaves. God is in the trees. God is in the breeze. And you say, <laughs> how can I? I don't want this God. I want to see God. I want to find God. I want to feel God. This whole world, you know how many people pray to God? Over 80-85% of the people. There are some people who don't pray. They are atheists. They are agnostics. But the majority of people in this world pray to a God. But they don't know. Today, World Environment Day, if we turn the focus of the environment to something more divine, to something far more important, what is it that is far more important? It is this, that we have to understand that the environment is nothing but a manifestation of the divine. We need what is known as enlightenment. Unfortunately, we are not focusing on this. So my dear friends, what I wrote on this is when you look at everything in this universe, you must realize, what must you realize? आसमा में तारों की मस्ती वही है सूर्य वही है चंदा भी वही है बादल वही है आसमा भी वही है सब कुछ वही है सब कुछ वही है प्रभु तो है हर जगह हर शय में वो है कोई जगह ना जहाँ वो नहीं है कण कण में वो है उसके बिन कुछ नहीं है सब कुछ वही है सब कुछ वही पर्सन हु लिसन टू दिस नॉन सेंस आर यू टॉकिंग 
How can God be in the mountains? How can God be in the ocean? It's just like somebody who goes to a gold shop. And he goes to the gold shop and he asks the man, he asks that fellow, what is the cost of this Krishna Bhagavan? He, he, the man looks at the, 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 the owner of the shop, takes the Krishna Bhagavan, puts it in the uh, weighing scale and says, it's 20 grams. And he gives the price. Okay? One lakh. Something. If it's 5,000 rupees a gram. Then he says, okay, for fun, he says, he picks up a devil. He says, what is the cost of this devil? And the man, the gold of the, he, took the, he takes the gold devil and puts it in the machine. He says, it's uh, 30 grams, one and a half lakh. The man gets angry. What you fool, man? Krishna Bhagwan, you're giving one lakh and devil, you're saying one and a half lakh. The man said, it's not about Krishna Bhagwan or devil. There is gold in everything. I will check the gold. I will weigh the gold and I will value it. What I'm saying is, we understand the gold is everything depends. Everything is gold. And therefore, we look at the value of the gold, how many grams it is. But we don't look at this entire universe. And we don't realize that everything is God. We are effects. God is the cause. We are manifestations. We are searching for God. God is inside. We, the God is in the environment. Today is World Environment Day. It is World Enlightenment Day. It is World Energy Day. Because the environment is nothing but energy. At least every year on the 5th of June, while I will not be speaking other than Fridays on a talk, and every day we have the question and answer session. Today was a bonus. But I hope you will remember 5th of June next year and the year after. And you will remember the 5th of June, not so much as World Environment Day, but what is this environment? What is the whole world talking about? Go beyond global warming. Go beyond planting a tree. Go beyond talking about, do that as a responsible citizen. But open your real eyes to realize the truth. Experience the divine. Experience the energy that is in the environment. You know, all the scientists, all these uh, activists of environment, they are so active in being eco-friendly and organic and all these things, right? But they have to pay attention to the ultimate truth of life. Who am I? Where did I come from? I was born when two cells became one. I was a tiny cell, a zygote, and then I multiplied. If the energy in the cell died, I would have been dead even without being born, even without becoming an embryo. The reason I am here today is because that two cells, my mother and father fertilized, became one. And then I was created by energy. When will we realize the meaning of this energy, this divine energy? Only when we open our real eyes, when we realize the truth. My friends, like I told you, it is just a chance that I'm speaking to you on World Environment Day. But my subject of the environment is only on enlightenment. What is the environment? One day when I was in Kurg and I was sitting and trying to write a book in the middle of the night, or quite late in the night, there was a lot of fog and the breeze was blowing. And the words that came to me were this, Hava me jo shakti Me to vahi Me ye nahi Asma Me jo masti Me to vahi Me ye nahi जो मैं लगता वो मैं नहीं सच में तो मैं एक शक्ति कण कण में जो है शक्ति मैं तो हूँ वो शक्ति हवा Are you following what it says in Hindi? I'm not sure how many of you understand Hindi, yeah? हवा 
में जो शक्ति मैं तो वही मैं ये नहीं थिंक ऑफ दिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट एवरी एटम ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट इज डिवाइन एनर्जी यू एंड मी we are nothing but energy but we can't we don't believe it how can i be how can i be energy touch i can see my hand see touch me i i cannot be energy but you must realize the truth what is the truth ye tan to panch tatvon se bana ye tan to nahi main man ko dhoonda to man hai kaha ye मन तो कहीं नहीं है महसूस जब किया रात को चांदनी जान गया मैं हूं वही नेती नेती ये तन नहीं नेती नेती ये मन नहीं तत्व मसी मैं वो हूं We are that divine power. Sometimes you see people are praying to a tree. You know what are they praying to? They are praying to the divinity in the tree. But we are not praying philosophically, spiritually. <laughs> Somebody stands in front of a tree and puts three nama there, and put one put two there, put two agarbatti there, and go create there. There will be twenty people in line thinking this is a divine tree. They say this tree is the god. All other trees are not god. This one tree because agarbatti is there and the three nama is there. We are. enveloped in ignorance the problem in our life is we have to overcome ignorance when we overcome ignorance we realize what causes all the beauty in this world everything beautiful in this world have you looked at a flower have you looked at sometimes at the clouds so beautiful at rain some people i know they get amazed when it rains they just like to go and get wet in the rain but you have to realize that all this nature all this environment this is just effects the cause is divine you and me every cell of the human body is made up of the same divine energy you may be surprised the mountain and you and me essentially we are the same we are not different from each other of course when we talk and ask air we can go further and understand the consciousness that we are so the consciousness is one step better for them but dear friends today because of world environment day let us stick to the environment why is the environment so beautiful have you stopped to look at a beautiful butterfly a beautiful rose have you stopped to look at all the beautiful mountains the oceans to be to the maldives you will go crazy if you went to the maldives because the white sands and the turquoise beaches oh i have been many 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 times because it's my spiritual destination what we don't realize is that everything beautiful is a manifestation of god tomorrow when you get out now it's dark i can't say you will go out of your house now but tomorrow when you wake up in the morning look at every leaf look at every flower look at every tree at a bird at a cloud and realize everything is energy every atom of this environment is energy and realize the truth of satyam shivam sundaram satyam shivam sundaram means satya the truth is shiva shiva means god is beautiful it may be whichever god you believe in but satyam shivam sundaram means the truth is god is beautiful because there is god we see the beauty the moment god disappears the beauty disappears my dear friends stop for a moment and contemplate what should you contemplate phool hai sundar see the flower behind phool hai sundar itli sundar panchi bhi sundar hai बादल सुंदर पहाड़ भी सुंदर जग में जो दिखता है अति सुंदर जो भी सुंदर प्रभु है प्रभु ही तो है सुंदरम 
Satyam Shivam Sundaram. The moment we hear Satyam Shivam Sundaram, we think of Dina Tamas. And a sexy acting in the movie. Our mind goes to Dina Tamas and Shashi Kapoor. Am I right? I don't remember the stars sometimes. And we start thinking, oh, she is so gorgeous. Huh? But we don't realize the meaning of Satyam Shivam Sundaram. There is great meaning. There is great meaning. Today I had a chance because on the environment day, I was not packed to tell you so much. So I used some of my songs to share how beautiful this environment is. And this environment is nothing but God. My dear friends, in three minutes, we will start question answers. But before we go to question answers from now, understand the environment. Understand that everything in this world Every aspect of environment is energy. Go beyond what science talks. Go beyond and understand spiritually. What is this energy? Be enlightened that this energy, this energy that creates you and me, the energy that makes the mountains and the oceans, the energy that creates this beautiful environment on this world environment day, get enlightened. Celebrate 5th of June next year, not only as World Environment Day, but as World Enlightenment Day. Because the goal, you can do nothing about the environment, my friend. You can plant a tree. Please do it. You can control some pollution. Please do it. But the environment is in the hands of the divine. And the divine, you know, <laughs> sometimes we don't understand, right? The divine power is so strong. Before you know it, psst, one tsunami. What can scientists do? One volcano, boom. What can scientists do? One tufan, one cyclone, one hurricane. What can scientists do? The scientists can only predict. The scientists can only forecast. The power is not in the hand of the scientist. The power is in the hands of the divine. We must get to that. At any point, when somebody talks to you on World Environment Day, Look at the environment like I did and think, how is it connected to the divine, to enlighten it? Therefore, to close, far more profound than World Environment Day is World Enlightenment Day. The environment can inspire us to realize God. A beautiful flower, a beautiful tree, a beautiful sunset. The environment, today I am twisting the opportunity and telling you, it is the environment that can inspire you to be enlightened. The environment can make you realize that the sun is God, the moon is God, stars are God. Have you ever looked up at a dark night sky with millions of stars? Have you ever looked up at the sky? Who created those beautiful stars up in the sky? Be inspired. Realize the truth that this environment is divine energy. This environment is God. So when people are talking on global warming and on rivers and they're trying to connect rivers and World River Day and the Ganges project and the Kaveri project, let our focus be on enlightenment because enlightenment is our ultimate goal to realize we are the divine soul, that everything in us is energy and this environment we so-called environment is nothing but energy. So today, we will get on to question answers. On Friday, the topic is, do you know who God really is? Friday at 7.30. And of course, every day at 8, we have a question and answer session. Every day. And because it's 8 now, I'm asking the administrator to stop and get into question and answers. So we'll be happy to answer questions. So, all those who would like to ask questions, Kiran, please ask your question. Shivam. Shivam, Kiran. 
you have got what is your question kiran unmute yourself please i am trying to detach myself with the attachments but as far as materialistic attachments are concerned it doesn't trouble because at this age no desires are left but but with re relations we are not we are not able to detach completely though we try but we are not successful 100% Okay, so what is your? You have a question, or you're just sharing a feeling with no, me? No, no, I am asking how we can reduce that. Very good. So you have already reached one at, at one state of achievement. You have renounced material pleasures, which means you have renounced the material things. But while you have given up products, you are not able to give up people. For example, somebody dear, you're not able to detach from your family members, somebody whom you love so deeply. and you're asking the question how do you detach and the answer is very simple the answer is lies in enlightenment the answer lies in realization of the truth dear kiran who are you attached to you are attached to a body you are attached to a body if i tell you i am attached to this bisleri bottle what will you think oh i am so attached to this bottle oh i am so attached to this bottle of mine or bottle may look funny i have a i have a very special globe oh this is the most precious globe of my life i am so attached kiran you laugh at me because these are not something to be attached what you don't realize is that every human being that you are attached to is not the body that you are attached for example kiran suppose i'm telling you an example you are attached to your daughter for all practical purposes if there was if there was a way of transplanting your daughter into a new body and your daughter came to you and in a new body would you be attached to her you would say i don't recognize who you are this is not you i want my daughter my point exact that's exactly what happened we spoke about satyam shivam sundaram in that movie satyam shivam sundaram he was very attached to his girlfriend he was very attached to the beloved ha huh? but yes. when the same beloved became his wife he hated her because she was burnt on one side yes. and every day she would hurt hide, hide herself with the sari with the dupatta with the pallu and he would go running behind her he would go chasing behind her because he was attached to the beauty of the skin not to the not to the power within so kiran you must realize this needs realization that the people you are attached appear as those people but in reality they are only atma they are only the soul the moment you are you are realize this truth that the people are not the body and it starts by you realizing you are not the body the moment you realize this you will learn the art of detachment although you will continue to love them from the outside on the inside many people come to me with this struggle with this point how to be detached i love my family so much yeah you love your family so much because you are ignorant you don't realize that we are all part of one family we are all the atma we are not this we are not the skin this is the realization we need So next question. Thank you, Kiran. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Simarpreet. Simarpreet. Shivam sir. Shivam Guruji. So my so, question is that what are the common symptoms of spiritual awakening? How will I come to know? Will I see some symptoms in me that you know there is a spiritual awakening happening in me? spiritual awakening is called enlightenment yes sir so we spoke about this some some days ago but for your benefit since you are probably not there that time how do you come to know you are enlightened you come to know you are enlightened when the light within shines right now there is darkness within you can't see what is inside when the light inside shines then you have enlightenment you have spiritual awakening 
that I am the divine spirit. And somebody said, no, I don't understand. How will I come to know that the light inside came on? I said, just like the light comes on in your dark room, when you enter your house, many, many of us, we work, we go to work in the morning, we switch off all the lights. When we come in the night, there's pitch darkness. We open the house. Of course, these days there are automatic lights. The light comes on. I'm not talking about those automatic lights. But when you open your house, you can't see anything. How do you know? The light is on or the light is off? So, Marpit, how do you know the light is on or the light is off? When I see it, I can see the thing. Light is on, I can see it. How do you know the light is off when you enter? If the light is I, on, will you still on it? Uh, of course, no. If it's on, then I'll not on it. If it's switched how off. On? How will you know it's on? I'll see the light, I'll see everything. Correct, you can see everything. Yes. So also, in enlightenment, you will be able to see what is in the inside then you will be awakened spiritually. So that Absolutely. is the way. When the light comes on, this is only the difference is not the right light in your room, but the light in your soul. When the light within comes on. Next question. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sanjay Das. Ah, Sanjay Shivam. Das. Shivam, Shivam Guruji. Shivam. Uh, today, actually, I wanted to share with you two questions. And we are on the path of enlightenment. We are on quest. Suppose yes. somebody like uh, goes, you know, in uh, suffering from paralysis, sudden paralysis or Alzheimer, because all through intellect and mind, we are going in search of enlightenment. And if these two uh, diseases, which attacks our brain, then further, how do we go? Because we are not in our own self. How the soul will recognize us that it is Alzheimer or paralysis? You understand what I mean to say because I practically have yes. seen those things. I understand very well. So let me tell you, suppose... It's really ab ab absurd question, no? But no, no, it's abstract. From... It's very interesting. Suppose today, I am in quest of enlightenment. Correct? You're saying I am in quest of enlightenment. I am in quest of enlightenment. Suddenly, I get paralyzed. My dear Sanjay Das, if I have realized the truth before I get paralyzed... I have attained nirvana. Wow. Because that paralysis is another way of the end. I hope you're clear. Ashok Maheshwari, are you following what I'm saying? So the point is this. Suppose you are saying that you get Alzheimer's. Means you forget about everything. Right? Yes. It doesn't matter. The person who has realized the truth surrenders. That Alzheimer's, you are not worried about Alzheimer's. Why do you worry about Alzheimer's? Are Alzheimer's hoga ya paralysis hoga ya kuch bhi hoga, the one who has realized the truth. What is the one, one, one has realized the truth of Sanjay? You know, what, he, what has he realized? Unfortunately, I sang too many songs. But I must tell you, he has realized Natak uska hai ye, Sangeet bhi uski hai, Hum to bas kalakar hai, Hum aate hai, jate hai, Marzi jo hai unki, wo manzoor karna hai. Alzheimer's ho ya paralysis, jo bhi hota hota hai. Correct? Thank you. So the one who is realized, he doesn't worry about Alzheimer's. He doesn't worry about paralysis. Sanjay Das, all we have is this moment. Dear Sanjay Das, there is no guarantee that I will be able to finish this question answer session today. So there consciousness. Is no there is, is no it? guarantee, huh? <laughs> consciousness. So we have to be all the time consciousness, present moment. Yeah. And you must only be in that consciousness. Yes. Remember, the past is gone. Yes. The future is not yet born. You can go to New York, you can go to New York and New Zealand and all this, but you can't go to the future. Yes. There is no future. It does not exist. Right. So stop thinking about paralysis. And Alzheimer's. That's the end of the story. Okay, Thank you. Shivam, sir. Thank Shiva. you. Thank you. Next question, please. Abhishek Damodar. Abhishek. Abhishek, please. Good evening, sir. Please unmute and ask your question. Am, am I... A little louder, Hello. please. Abhishek, am a little I louder, audible, please. No, you're not so loud. You're not so audible. No, no, I'm audible, sir. Am yes, I audible? You're, yes, you're audible. Yes, sir. Sir, my question is that uh, whenever I'm going to do my any work related to education or related to anything, I couldn't concentrate very much on that. 
how to concentrate perfectly on any work the way to concentrate is to tame the monkey mind the mind is a monkey have you seen a monkey the monkey is constantly yes, jumping yes. abhishek if you if you go to a if you go to a park and you see monkey he will monkey will not sit quietly for your information abhishek yes, the mind thinks one thought every second that comes yes. to 50 thoughts a minute it comes to 50000 thoughts a day if the mind is going to think 50000 thoughts a day can you concentrate no human being can concentrate not you no, no human being can concentrate so the way to concentrate is to tame the monkey mind to cut the tail of the monkey and make it into a monk m o n k e y cut that e y e y means ever yelling e y means ever yearning cut the tail of the monkey silence the monkey mind make it yes. into a monk so sir how to so concentrate very perfectly my advice to you and please spend time in silence you can spend 15 minutes in the morning 15 minutes in the evening and come back on this call and tell me in two days whether it makes a change or not in 7 days i'm promising you you will find a big change but 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening every day without fail silence just okay. silence switch off the lights switch off the music don't keep eating french fries or potato chips or kadle gai no stop everything and be silent 15 minutes morning 15 minutes practical advice i am also here to give you not just philosophy but practical tips so my guru ji dada you mean meditation right my ha huh? yes you please you mean meditation right meditation so what, is medi what is meditation no i am not talking about meditation i am talking about silence meditation is a is a fashionable yes. term let us review, let let there be another somebody else can ask a question and you will hear meditation people think meditation is sitting quietly with the eyes closed in one mudra and letting the mind wander everywhere no that is not what you want you want silence you want stillness mind should yes, be sir. here the mind you should you should you should keep i told i told the group last week keep telling yourself i am conscious 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 15 minutes don't stop if you do it twice a day i guarantee concentration okay sir thank you ranveer thank you so much sir ranveer 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 your question time hello thank you shivam sir shivam ranveer sir सोशल मीडिया पे कुछ गुरुज हैं जो बताते हैं कि स्पिरिचुअलिटी को कैसे वे मतलब वो बताते हैं लाइक रेकी क्रियाएं समाधि सर ये सही है इनके थ्रू स्पिरिचुअल हो सकते हैं या नहीं आप कहा रहते हैं राजस्थान वेरी गुड इफ आई आस्क यू टू गो फ्रॉम योर हाउस टू जयपुर हाउ टू गो हाउ शुड यू गो टेल मी बाय ट्रेन और बाय कार How long it takes to go to Jaipur from your house? Ah, uh, three to four hours. Very good. कोई आपको बोलता है, you take a helicopter to Dubai, and from Dubai you take a flight to Delhi, and from Delhi you take a flight to Jaipur. हाँ, वो भी जा सकते हैं आप. हाँ. वो भी जा सकते हैं. या तो कोई बोलता है कि मेरे grandfather ने कहा, तुम राजस्थान से हो, तो बेटा ऊंट पे बैठो, बैठो. ऊंट में बैठ के तुम जाओ तो वो भी कर सकता है राइट और रॉन्ग राइट राइट व्हाट आई एम सेइंग द मेथड्स ऑफ गोइंग आर मेनी द वेज ऑफ यू रीचिंग जयपुर आर मेनी देयर आर मेनी सो कॉल्ड स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर्स आई डोंट वांट टू कमेंट ऑन एनीबडीज नेम करेक्ट बट स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज वेरी सिंपल एंड आई ऑलवेज टेल यू डोंट इवन बिलीव मी अनलेस यू आर कन्विंस्ड अनलेस यू बिलीव अनलेस इट मेक्स सेंस टू यू 
please understand spirituality is the science of the spirit spirituality means to realize my name is tanvir i am not tanvir ranvir yeah. i get it my yeah. name is main ranvir nahi hu mera naam ranvir hai so this is first step of spirituality and jo main aap to aap se keh raha hu i am not telling you from just some fancy uh, i have I am, my following is from adi shankara who has who is following the vedas and the upanishads 5000 years ago i am following vivekananda and ramakrishna paramahansa i am following ramana maharishi i am following my dada jp vaswani he is my guru i am following advaita vedanta which is the upanishads now this according to me is the the straight and the fastest way to enlightenment it is very simple it starts with the word neti neti it is no complication neti neti ka matlab ye nahi ye nahi ye tan bhi mein nahi ye man bhi mein nahi that's all spirituality is now you tell me ranveer you want a simple way to understand spirituality or you want to have complicated way and pay lakhs of rupees to your so called gurus and attend attend first point is when somebody is asking you for money directly or indirectly they are not spiritual yeah please understand spirituality and money don't go together the moment there is money involved there is no spirituality so rest is up to you you are intelligent enough have i answered your question Yeah, yes, sir. In this spirituality, you can ask me questions. For example, what is samadhi? There are you you spoke about so many things. But remember this: what you see on the TV, like you said, there are many gurus. Let me explain to you, since you are on the point. Koi bhi aadmi lamba dhadi pen ke lamba bal chhod ke guru ban jata hai kya? What do you think? As an intelligent man, what do you think? No, sir. Let me give you an interesting, real life example. One dhongi guru came to me. wearing an orange dhoti he was a dhongi guru i don't know how many of you know it but we have a very big temple i built a temple 27 years back it's a 65 foot statue so ye dhongi ye dhongi guru jo hai wo you know the orange bjp color ka jo don't i'm not talking about bjp but wo orange color pen ke mere sath mandir mein aaya lamba daadi lamba bal just before that he came to my office and he told me bete तेरे पास तेरे, तेरे पास कितनी गाड़िया है ऐसे चार इसे तू चार गाड़िया से क्या करेगा तू दो रख दो मेरे पास भेज दिस दिस first time in the life they are seeing him but because of his orange dhoti and beard and bal they fell at his feet so if you think that is the right way to enlightenment ranveer i gave you the i gave you the pointers now it is for you to realize the point thank you sir thank you shubham next rajkumar mohan shubham guru ji shubham happy environment day uh, since today is the environment day i would like to ask questions on environment itself so what are the major threats of uh, environmental means uh, problems to the world today my dear rajkumar mai to environment mein anpad aate hain ha so maybe you should be asking this question to google or somebody else the honest fact is i will try to answer your question but i am completely uneducated gawar anpad Uh, in environment but it's not that to, today today i have given talk on environment so i'd like to ask up on this yeah so my talk on environment was to see god in the environment what was your question by the way let me listen to your question one more time what are the major threats of environmental issues to the world today the biggest threat of environment in the world today is that people don't know that god is in the environment the yeah. biggest threat is not global warming the biggest threat is not carbon emission the biggest threat is not pollution of ganga the biggest threat all this you know if god wants with one wave of his hand 
the entire ganges can become pure because he can do anything yeah. we have to we have to the biggest threat to the world today rajkumar yeah is that the world does not understand that the environment is a manifestation of god so i am coming back to my belief what is environment but hum- human beings are the most uh, means polluting agents I, they are yes. polluting the environment more than any why? other you know creatures. why why they are doing uh, rajkumar because of ghor avidya because right. of ignorance ignorance yeah so the same problem we have to realize the truth about environment about ourselves about god but my suggestion to you focus on enlightenment use right. environment use the environment to inspire you to enlighten that no, is my love, I, i love nature and uh, i do plantations and all so what you must do next time what tell me what nature do you love give me an example what do you love give me one example of a nature do you love the sunset or do you love a plant or a rose what do you love okay rajkumar let's go next question please so my dear friends today we were rajkumar caught me on environment and environment subject and what are the threats to environment and what i told him to me is a big point of aha of realization think about it the whole world is concentrating on carbon carbon emissions they are talking about pollution they are talking about trees if the tree has no life can the tree grow if the tree think about this i hope rajkumar is there if the tree is dead do you know the importance of trees as a kid in school what did they teach us if there are no trees there would be no oxygen in the air who has made chandresh who has made it chandresh ke hum oxygen lete hain aur hum carbon dioxide dete hain aur trees carbon dioxide lete hain aur oxygen dete hain to chandresh kisne banaye chandresh batao hum zara hame zara bataiye there is a prabhu nahi ha to agar wo prabhu nahi hote hain to environment hota sambhav hi nahi fir maine pehli baar hindi mein sikha ke environment ka matlab hai paryavaran sahi ha तो मुझे डिक्शनरी खोलना पड़ा मेरी मेरी पीएचडी है वो पीएचडी डॉक्टर रुचिका सिंह उसने डिक्शनरी खोल के सिखाया कि व्हाट इज एनवायरमेंट तो एनवायरमेंट इज पर्यावरण तो शी टॉट मी पर्यावरण इसके हमने एक वीडियो भी बनाया ये जो पर्यावरण है, है क्या ये जो हम बोलते हैं पर्यावरण विश्व पर्यावरण दिवस हम मनाते हैं विश्व पर्यावरण दिवस लेकिन हम कुछ जानते नहीं है वी डोंट अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ वर्ल्ड एनलाइटनमेंट डे फर्स्ट वी शुड बी एनलाइटन दैट एवरी एटम एवरी एटम ऑफ मैटर इज गॉड कभी कभी वी आर डूइंग पूजा ऑफ अ लिंक और अ क्रॉस क्रिश्चियंस डू पूजा फॉर क्रॉस बट दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द एक्चुअल क्रॉस इट इज नॉट द क्रॉस दैट जीसस क्राइस्ट वाज क्रूसिफाइड ऑन दैट इज सिंबॉलिक but every atom of the linga every atom of the cross everything in this universe is divine energy unfortunately we have lost understanding and so therefore you know i refused to speak today on world environment day i refused then they brought the connection no no you only say you no know, environment is enlightenment environment is god why you are refusing to speak please speak so i said okay but again i will not speak remember we will have only one talk every friday at 7:30 and ask care every day at 8 because we need to ask investigate and realize the truth questions i'm telling you this mark my word questions will not end there are millions of questions millions i am telling you there are millions of questions and even if you answer hundreds and thousands of questions you have not yet realized even the tip of the iceberg therefore my my dear friends it is very important for us to realize the answers to our questions will give us knowledge but we have to go beyond knowledge we have to reach what is known as realization realization is very very important we need to get there sudeep bhargav shivam sir shivam so you just mentioned the carbon imprints reminds me of a very extensive discussion we had some 3 years back during the shivratri night 
i would like you to tell the audience about that discussion your question uh, that year was that both the coal and the diamond are made of carbon then why is it that the diamond is more costlier than the coal <laughs> i would like you to give your views in the last few minutes and maybe enlighten the others as well so first of all let me explain to the group here that sudeep bhargava has been one of the divine seekers for many years sudeep bhargava remembers this question and it's not i myself don't remember the question and the incident so hitkari ji ha huh? coal koila or diamond dono same hai dono both are made from the same elements why is coal so cheap and diamond so costly have you thought anybody can give me an answer why is both both are made of carbon coal is also carbon diamond is also carbon why is coal so cheap why is the diamond so costly what is the reason so there will be many reasons but what i want you to contemplate is not whether coal is costly and diamond is costly i want you to contemplate on the fact that the source is one go back don't get caught in the cost of diamonds one carat two carat three carat diamonds no whatever be the cost of the carat of the diamond in the end it will not be not even be worth an eating carrot of the rabbit because you will leave it behind and you will go you may have all the uh carrot diamonds but it's no use what you need to understand what you need to understand is the source what is the one source so deep is asking what is the source of diamond and coal right but go beyond that go go one step behind what is the cause of everything on earth on earth air water the entire earth the earth is made of so many minerals what is the cause and this is what we spoke today so deep incidentally today's world environment day is to realize that the environment whether it's coal or diamond every atom of the environment is energy and the question i'm leaving all of you with before i close today what is this energy sanjay das what is this energy every atom of carbon in a diamond or coal every atom is ultimately energy krishna sharma you have to ask the question where does this energy come from where the energy came from where the energy goes then you will realize that this energy is god you will realize that energy is the divine you will realize that everything in this world is the energy you will realize that there is nothing other than this world than energy this is the ultimate goal of life self realization leads to god realization my dear friends every day at 8 you ask me so many questions and you bless me like sudeep today it was his blessing to bring about a 3 4 year old point which i may have never thought about but we all together every day we have a date at 8 and we meet and we ask question and answers the talk will not be on saturdays and mondays the talk will be only on fridays for 30 minutes 7:30 to 8 and then question answers for 30 minutes every day from 8 to 8:30 with folded hands i thank you i bow down to all of you for coming to this call day after day week after week and blessing me and giving us your divine presence Thank you so much. God bless you.